When creating a Kobe spreadsheet, you want to be able to select or manage what elements actually get exported to the spreadsheet. You could do this by going up to BIM Interoperability Tools, the Kobe extension, and then clicking on the Selection button. After a few brief moments, the Selection dialog box appears. Here, it detects all the different kinds of elements that are inside your model and what you want to be able to do with it when you actually export them. So over here, I can come right over to casework and I can choose which types here I want to be able to export. Through here, it also tells me the different elements here that I have available to me to export and bring this out just a bit so that we can see it a little bit better. Tells me the ID information, name, any sort of mark value, and where it's located. I could choose to either have the all casework, or the type, or just a few of those instances of that type. Here, I can say select all, select none, I can also say expand all or collapse all. Something to note about groups. Parameters will not be set to anything that is grouped together. So you can either skip grouped elements or you can ungroup anything that is created as a group and then set those parameters. When you are done, you can hit apply and close. Before we finish, let's talk about the Kobe and Kobe.type parameters. Here for each of our elements, we have a yes, no parameter for Kobe and a yes, no parameter for Kobe.type. In the select elements dialog, it will check and uncheck those automatically, or you can manually do it as to control what gets exported as well.